When you see a patient for the first time in clinic, uh, the one of the most important things is to differentiate the type of indolent lymphoma. So many times when patients come in, uh, we review the pathology, we'll look at all of their staging. Now there are three very common types of low-grade lymphomas, that's SLL, marginal zone lymphoma, and follicular lymphoma. Follicular lymphomas are usually, uh, well, the way we often um, differentiate between, between the two is how they look under the microscope as well as through immunohistochemistry. Follicular lymphomas are usually CD10 positive, usually CD5 negative, and CD20 and CD19 positive by immunohistochemistry. And this differs from marginal zone lymphoma as well as small lymphocytic lymphoma or CLL. The diagnosis of follicular lymphoma ideally should be made with an excisional biopsy. And the reason for this is that a fine needle aspirate is really too small to give you the information that you really need to take care of the patient. So an excisional biopsy gives you the whole entire lymph node architecture, and it helps you to distinguish follicular lymphoma from other slow-growing, low-grade lymphomas. It also helps you to rule out whether there's the presence of occult transformation, and it also helps you to grade the lymphoma, which sometimes impacts your selection of treatment. So all of those reasons really make it important that you always choose an excisional biopsy when you're diagnosing follicular lymphoma. But there are a few uh, exceptions to that. So if there is an inaccessible lymph node, or if the patient is too ill to undergo an excisional biopsy, you might consider a core biopsy. But a fine needle aspirate really is not, in my opinion, sufficient to d make the diagnosis. Follicular lymphoma is staged uh, like any other type of cancer and we currently use a revised Ann Arbor staging system. The Ann Arbor stage system looks at uh, basically the location of different nodes as well as the involvement of organs that are not nodes when determining staging. Stage one is one nodal site. Stage two is two nodal sites on one side of the diaphragm. Stage three is nodal disease above and below the diaphragm. And stage four is when there is an organ that is not a node that is involved. And honestly, this most commonly means the bone marrow, but it can sometimes mean the skin, somewhere in the GI tract or other places. Uh, there's also one slight variant and that's called stage 1E. That's when patients have stage one disease in a site that is not a node. So stage one extra nodal, for example, marginal zone lymphoma in the stomach only would be stage 1E. In follicular lymphomas, we uh, grade them according to WHO staging uh, grading criteria. And basically, this looks at the number of large cells within a sample. When looking at follicular lymphoma under the microscope, if there are between zero and five large cells or centroblasts in a sample, we call it grade one. If there are uh, up to 15, we call it uh, grade two. If there are 15 or more, we call that grade three follicular lymphoma. We then subdivide grade three into grade three A and three B, depending on the presence of centrocytes. Um, I personally think that the grading is somewhat of a spectrum, right? It isn't that the patient has a different disease if they have 15 large cells in a sample versus 16 large cells in a sample. So when I am thinking about how to treat a patient, I do look at the grade, but I also look at other factors such as how hot the PET scan is, the KI67, as well as the clinical history of a patient. And I use staging and grade as part of that whole picture to determine what uh, the best frontline therapy should be.